And what's your closing argument to voters and why you're a better candidate than Mike Rogers? You know, I think it's similar to what came up here, which is you just you don't know how you're going to need your senator. You know, it could be on an agriculture thing or a natural disaster or, um, you know, a major issue of, of policy. Um, is the person that you elect going to, A, answer the call, B, move to action, and then C, fight for you? And literally be in those rooms where the doors are closed and you're hashing out and negotiating things. Do you believe that that person that you sent to Washington is going to fight on your behalf? Um, and uh, all I can tell you is that um, I'm an independently minded person. I know how to answer the phone, how to act, and how to fight. What does it say to you that she's here and that she's helping a Democrat at, at this level? Well, you know, it was a big deal for us when she came in 2022. I was the first Democrat that she she ever endorsed and, and rallied with. Um, but I think now, you know, the, it, it means to me that, that um, regardless of whether you're a Democrat or Republican, she just wants decent, normal people of integrity in office. She's endorsed Republicans this year. She's endorsed Democrats this year. Um, she and I work together, so we got to see each other in action. And so it's even more important to me that she was willing to come out and do this, not just about Donald Trump, but as you say, but uh, even about my own competitor, Mike Rogers, in this race.